Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave, Reconstruction, Authority, and yes, we're taking a look at the Focus Tree right now. Well, I didn't, I wasn't aware of this, but to help stop the Legion, Kaisar's Legion for now, I need to get vaccinations. Didn't know that, but it helped us with our population and prevent diseases. We're not anti-vax here. So, uh, I've had actually a lot of comments in the past few days regarding decisions, paths, and just things to do as the Enclave. Uh, I do want to go back to my focus tree real quick, though. Because apparently there's a way for me to get the Brotherhood of Steel as a puppet. And then they'll give us some power armor and the, VP, the VB-02 gunship. The Brotherhood Liberals promote the exchange of ideas. And it's a band of brothers in which I can puppet the Western Brotherhood, which sounds like a good idea. Even though I could instead just go to war with them. But I might not be able to fully kill them off because, honestly, our army is not really huge. So, we need vaccines. We have to think about the Brotherhood because they actually own quite a good chunk of California. And then go from there. Um, I need to listen to Marcus so I can help maybe potentially break the power of the Barons. Which would be great, so they don't tighten their grip any further, which would not be good for us. So let's continue. And yes, I did go democratic in this playthrough. Um, someone said that even though I'm going democratic, democrat, democratic, I should commit war, supposed war crimes against the Legion when I do go to war with them. Now, that's okay, and those and what I do to the Legion will be okay no matter what I do because. The victors write the history books, <clears throat> and what we call war crimes are just simple wartime peace measures. Yeah, so war crimes, those won't exist on our side, only from the Khazar Legion side. Anyway, um, I, have, I did have a request to play this somewhat again, but start from fairly recently, so I, instead of going democratic, I would end up going... Uh, where is it? I'd end up going with autocracy and becoming basically a presidential dictatorship. Someone asked if I could do that, like go back to my save once this campaign is done. I've never done that before. I mean, if there's enough support, I'll do it, but... I mean, once we're done with the campaign, I might just move on to a different mod or go back to a mod that I have, haven't have played for a long time or something like that. Just don't know what the next campaign will be. So, if there is enough support for me to play going back into the Enclave here and just play through a presidential dictatorship and being basically a dictator, then yeah, I'll do that, if there's enough support. So we got a little bit more democracy support, some more oligarchy support, and more legitimacy. 64% legitimacy, legitimacy, and remove the national spirit, unstable government. Oh, I could do Nation Reborn. So the Enclave Reconstruction Authority will be known as the United States. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, even though I do immediately need to go for vaccination, so that's got to wait. No problem. Also, I have had most, I think most people put in the comments that they want me to go with the Ganon Doctrine. Not the Canon Doctrine, but the Ganon Doctrine. Um, I mean, this one makes us use couriers to incorporate settler, settler and tribal nations into the re reunited states of America. The other one makes us as firm as granite. Hmm. I'm still unsure about each one, so... I have actually haven't played this far in terms of deciding for this stuff on my own time. So, let's go ahead and try to get vaccinations after this one focus. Nice. Quarry picks. Better re resource efficiency gain. My nose is acting up for some reason. Not sure why. But whatever. But whatever. Let's get some more construction speed because even though we can't build anything, when we can build something, it'll be nice to do so. And we still need... We get 1.77 political power a day. Nice. Ah, wait. Stockton. Now, instead of Dayglow, <clears throat> where these usually occur, we're in Stockton, a crowd of people have formed. Uh, let them tire themselves out, that'll be fine. Whatever, that sucks, that really sucks. Ah, uh, gotta love coffee. Even though I don't have that much coffee, I already drink most of it before I even started this. So we're 49% of the way for the People Party, 39% for the Intellectuals, and then Elites is for Citizen Lynette. Alright, well, whatever. But we do have the EPA director, which is kind of nice. Gave me as much monthly population as possible. We don't even have a million people under us, which is, which, which makes sense. Oh, wait, crap. 72 political power. Listen to Marcus. 
get become a little bit more popular in democ for democracies, which would be nice, and then we'll see what happens. So, Redding's Resistance. During the Brotherhood NCR War, Paladins poison Redding's gold mines to cripple the NCR's currency. But now that mutants are joining the reunited states, a former super mutant miner, Marcus Jacobson, has suggested we use our technology and mutant radiation resistance to restart the mines and open up nearby uranium mines. Uh, Redding's mineral wealth will break the barrens once and for all and proves that Amer in America, the only color that matters is the color of your money. Honestly, that could not be more true. Every Everything is driven by money. It's the American dream, and we get more production of resources. What are those resources? Uh, we got more electronics and electricity. Nice. And we did it. Nice. Did we get rid of the Barons thing? No, not the Barons thing up here yet. Oh, they'll be removed by April next year, which is not terrible. But that would be nice when it's done. Better encryption, better radar. Let's get some decryption, and even better radar, even though I can't build anything. We do have 100 factories, that's kind of nice. <clears throat> Hearts and minds, more stability, more political power. Uh, can I get out of a collapsed economy or collapsed trade? Uh, I guess I can. can. Oh, cannot replace collapsed trade, okay. I cannot replace collapsed economy, even though I could. I did get out of the crappy collapsed reluctance to serve thing by selecting something else. Even though we still have a reluctance to serve. But that uh, law and government thing, we couldn't change. Ooh, and the old country was annexed. That's a fake brotherhood. That's a little bit worrisome, not gonna lie. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're still in Reading. Can I move you? You should be able to be moved. Boost civilian economy. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Roll out technology to scavengers. I need as much political power as possible. Really, if I could get, like... Like, fine power armor, that'd be great, but you really can't, so... Uh, do I want to get rid of four military workshops? Well, what are my workshops doing? They're doing nothing. I'd lose some scrap dive bombers, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, I guess I'd lose some power armor, actually, instead. What'd I just do that for? Uh, regardless. That still could be... That's not terrible. Oh. Oh, the Brotherhood is marching onward, huh? Uh, 45 days, another victim for the Washington Brotherhood. We are getting surrounded. This is not good. And immediately go for vaccinations. Oh, we got a lot of political power. Nice. We could steal, uh, reclaim, the Declaration of Independence. That sounds like a lot of fun, but before I do that, could we, we don't really need more manpower or anything else. Just, this helps you build stuff and research stuff. It doesn't help you create stuff faster. Oh, this one does. The gunships and the transports, that's not bad. I need to get a lot more reliability. I'll probably go with that. Vertebrate designer. Anything here? Air superiority, air experience gain, daily intellectual support, which we don't need. Help up for attack. I definitely want that plus 15% attack. A political advisor. We don't need Boris anymore. Unpopular pragmatist. Attorney general. More stability is kind of nice. More monthly population, but less war support, which we don't want. Christopher Wright wouldn't be bad. For a citizen, don't want more daily elite support. Uh, less attack and less weekly war support? No thanks. Even though you get a crap ton of political power. So, instead we're going to choose a decision. <clears throat> and I'm going to steal it. I'm going to become Nicolas Cage and reclaim the Declaration of Independence. Our initial expedition to the Capital Wasteland reveals the damage was worse than we feared. It looks like the region's water supply is contaminated. Why am I, turning my, why am I talking like this now? Super mutants and raiders fight over the Washington Mall, and everything is in ruins. We can stick to our original plan to just steal the Declaration of Independence, but we could also set up a humanitarian mission to help the people of the Wasteland. What would be greater than seeing the Enclave Reconstruction Authority troops occupying the capital Wasteland? Why am I talking like this? Because it's maybe in the South. I don't know. Washington, D.C. isn't in the South, even though it basically just borders the South in Maryland. Even though Maryland could be considered part of the South, but not really, but it kind of is. Anyways... We'll come back when we reunite the West for more war support, or people of the Wasteland, your saviors are here. And I run out of manpower, but I get more legitimacy. Well, let's see. Right now, um, who? if I get rid of my manpower, well, we're only on volunteer only, which isn't bad. We get plus 5% non-core manpower and 7% rec recruitable population, but we could go eventually to limited conscription if we just raise our manpower levels. <sighs> This is a tough decision. Can I get more manpower in the future? That is something I need to ask first. 
Research speed. Uh, we get plus 5% recruitable population with military education. And down here, we lose monthly population. Just got an email. We get 10% more population. So I don't mind spending a little bit more manpower for now. For a little bit more legitimacy. And I guess we get a little bit more non-core manpower as well. Nice. Not the worst thing. Not the worst thing. And we have 10. We've got 10 manpower left. Alright, everyone. Line up. We're going to stick needles in you. And oh, we also get a double bonus to field hospitals. Nice. Alright, so we got a little bit more manpower now. Volunteer army. I don't want to lose that non-core manpower buff. But I'm going to need to lose it eventually. I... I don't want to boost the civilian economy by removing military factories. But it's not like we don't get stuff in exchange, so... If that's the only thing I can do... Ooh. Actually, improve worker conditions for even more stability might be kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that, just because... I want as much stability as possible... Without being dependent on independent events... As well as laws and government, so... Besides, we can't even build anything right now. So, them... Taking more civilian factories doesn't mean anything to me at all. And let's see. Side channel attack. Very nice. We're doing quite a bit better on power armor. We definitely need more support equipment, though. Uh, That's eh, only 0.21 years ahead of time. That's fine. Ooh, Brahmin barons and Vault City restricts suffrage. As it turns out, some, to some Americans, democracy is negotiable. Did they not read the title of my last video? Vault City and parts of Northern California are trying to restrict the vital the right to vote to longtime inhabitants or requiring arcane citizenship tests. Their hope is to control who their districts send to Congress and keep the unwashed masses from having a say. You're all terrible people. Let me explain why that's illegal. Uh, because you impl implemented the Voting Rights Act, Lynette cannot play these games. Oh. I mean, who's the oligarchy? The oligarchy is... the elites. So, I don't mind more political power then, yeah. That's illegal. You can't do that. Now, in this playthrough, you can't do that. In the next playthrough, or if I play this ever again, or if someone else does it, then yeah, that's totally legal. But right now, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Actually, can we get more industry? No. Engineering is pretty much the way we're at. Better die bombers? Yes, please. I like to go boom, boom, boom. Monthly. Ooh, who are they going to go to war with next? I'm a little concerned that it might be me. I don't think I need my divisions over here, so... Come up here. For my Enclave Auxiliaries, they already have machine guns, which is good. Recon as well as medical chem companies. But they might need anti-tank or something like that. Because we might be fighting power armor, which... Is not easy to fight against if you have no piercing. It's actually very hard to fight against if you have no piercing. Uh, what we're going to go with is next. Reluctance to serve might be good. Ooh, actually... What are the debuffs for reluctance to serve? We get less non-core manpower. We lost recruitable population factor. And we'll get some more war support. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get down here first. Oh, but what about business of the gunrunners? Unlocks events and decisions relating to the fate of California in the reunited states. I want to do that, and then I'll go to the NCR uh, leadership thing. Something like that. Nice. More monthly population and less division attrition. Protests in Shady Sands. Uh... Comply with their demands. I already got rid of this. And I'm going to lose stability and political power if I do this. So, I'm just going to let them tire themselves out. Just let them blow off some steam, whatever. Counterfeiters, with the collapse of New California's treasury, we are left to fill in the gap with Enclave Reconstruction Authority script and bottle caps. Unfortunately, this has left some counterfeiters with the ability to inject false currency into the economy. We need to revive the banking system to put a stop to this. Do we still get... We still get weekly change, which is good for stability. Um, how about... How come nobody counterfeits Kaiser's coinage? Ooh. That sucks. That's a good question. Another victim for the Brotherhood against Yakima. Ah, oh, so the Brotherhood's going after Yakima next. They don't have a lot of manpower. The Washington Brotherhood is actually becoming pretty thick. That's a little, um, worrying. Flesh before steel. Oh, there we go! Look at this. Nuka Land's opening day. Uh, after a year of construction, which has hurt our supplies just just a little bit. Nuclean is open to rave reviews and would be crushing competition if there was any other theme park in the wastes. Casualties from the Deathclaw Petting Zoo are within acceptable parameters, and the haunted uh, house's feral ghouls provide excellent paramilitary training, and the rocket roller coaster is fun. Is that it? Is that all you got to say about the rocket roller coaster is just fun compared to everything else? For one day, or for one brief day, America's citizens, citizens 
get a taste of what our nation will be like when we finish rebuilding. Just obey park security. Oh. And we remove the National Spirit building a Nuka World. Nuka Land. Um, oh, there it is. We get a slight buff to construction speed as well as infrastructure construction speed. We get 10% stability, which is nice because of all the protests. And 10% more legitimacy. Wow, we're really legit now. 79%? Hmm. There goes some coffee. Dude, look at our non-enclave non population. 97.8% of our entire population is not part of the enclave. And we just finished our land auction. Nice. Recovery rate, defense, soft attack, hard attack, organization, in exchange for a little bit more training time. So we're done with that. Awesome. Scrap motorcycle or salvage motorcycle, whatever. Mm. Very nice. Decisions boost civilian economy. Da -da -da. Still nothing here. Interesting. We have 123 manpower. 89% effective total manpower. Ooh, Joshua Graham enlists. Although New Canaan has fallen, some of their leaders have survived and made their way to America. Among the most noteworthy is Joshua Graham, one of the Legion's founders. Ooh. Graham seeks vengeance against the Legion for its treatment of the Mormons and will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit against their enemies until he stands before his Lord for judgment. Interesting. And they get... The Kaiser's Legion gets 5% less war support. Very interesting. Uh, let's see... They haven't taken out the brother, the Yakama, Yakama nation yet. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, roll out technology to scavengers. That be, might be good to do. We need support equipment and manpower and planes, but I don't know if we can actually find that. I do want offensive, uh, army offensive genius. Anything for ship designer? Yeah, naval research speed. Vertibird would be good to do as well. Uh, I want some more stuff from here, though. I don't want to get lose my all my war support. Civilian and infrastructure construction speed probably would be the best. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I'm probably gonna go with Captain of Industry here. Nice. We need more. We definitely need more manpower, but I can't really do anything without enough manpower. So, and they declared war on the Yakama Nation. Yakama, Yakama. Just please don't die that fast. I think they could do a lead lease, but. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of equipment myself. And they're dying slowly, 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 slowly. I need to research some piercing for my regular infantry. If I have to go to war with the Brotherhood, because that might happen eventually, I need to give my infantry a lot of piercing power. Go ahead and train, guys. So, the Gunrunners. The Gunrunners is a weapons merchant and manufacturer faction operating out of the fortress in the Boneyard. By today, it has branches in many areas, including one near the Strip in the Mojave Wasteland. The Gunrunner supplies only the finest hardware to the most discerning of customers, which used to include the NCR. Most Gunrunner workshops are set up in areas that recently came under our control. Unsure of the new regime's view of their business, they have ceased production temporarily. Many are making plans to leave, and will do so unless we make our opinion of them clear. Let them continue operating, and then we'll recognize them as a legitimate business in which we get more factory output and conversion speed. All those fine guns will be safer in our hands. And we've, or we, in this case, then we would close them down. Um, honestly, that is a lot of just regular basic f f infantry equipment. So I don't mind them just continuing to operate, because if we do this... I don't want to shut down the business, which could hurt jobs, which could hurt the more of the economy. And I know I'm thinking, like, way too far for Hoi 4, but let's do this. So we get more factory output and con and conversion speed. So we did that. Let's go with... Ooh, there's so much I want to do. I do, I do want to do A Nation Reborn, but... Ooh. Fund the EPA, so you get more monthly population. Plus 10%. Ooh. Actually, that might be good to do right now. The Gek Project would be nice to do, but we don't need that yet. Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. Revive the Federal Reserve. Actually, that might be... There's so many things I want to do. Uh, except the NCR dollar. Free of bottle caps. Because we do... We are hurt by counterfeiters. But this monthly population might actually prove to be very, very useful. Yeah, there's no immediate need for, not, for us to not do this, so... We'll get through everything eventually, but... Whispers of hope. Despite our current precarious position, there are those who are taken to our American dream. Whispers of a new dawn are spoken when no NCR loyalists are in the room. Stories of a president made of solid, solid granite who has a stomach to crush the enemies of America within and without. Ask not what your government can do for you, which isn't bad. I need you for U.S. Army. Hmm. 
Now, I love political power, and I love manpower, and I love stability. Ooh, a new Deglo. Rebuild Sacramento. Please pardon the mess during Reconstruction. Add to infrastructure for the fate of the Boneyard. Irrigate California. Oh, my goodness. Uh, as much as I want more manpower... I don't know if, if eventually when I re reunite the country that I get cores on all the territory that I own. So, I don't know if I'll get more manpower that way. I doubt I will. But I don't know. So... I want to go with more political power so I can immediately spend all of that on the reconstruction of California. Where's Sacramento, first of all? Because if I, I want to rebuild that. So we're going to go with ask not what your government can do for you, but what you can do for your government. Uh, Sacramento. Sacra okay, Sacramento doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. I know it's not really Southern... I know it's not Southern California. San Francisco's right there, which have not been taken out by the Brotherhood yet. Uh, they're not even a puppet of the Brotherhood. Hold on. Elder Recalled. Draw the Sword. Navarro or nothing. Citadel of Steel. Old Bonds I can't do. New Steel. Victory of Death. Victory or Death. Elder Recalled. Oh, they join him. Alright, so be it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Irrigate California. A new day glow for Helios 2. Ooh, good afternoon, America. This is your president. I wanted to tell you a great new plan. You might have heard of the solar plant outside New Vegas called Helios 1, but did you know it was only one of the series of plants intended to wean America off of fossil fuels before the Great War? A lone New Vegas, Californian vault city could never have duplicated it. But working together, we're building Helios 2 outside of Dayglow as we speak to bring clean, affordable energy to Southern California. It's a new day, America. Soak up the sun. Nice. And that sound was made by me. Sucking on my water bottle. All right. Fate of the Boneyard, and then rebuilding Sacramento. Sa oh, it's Sac City. Oh, that's what Sac City is. Oh, that's where Sacramento is. Okay. Uh, if I add to infrastructure, um, if I do this first, I could get more infrastructure construction speed. Uh, but that's only 1% more legitimacy. I mean, that's all right. I'm not, I can't even build anything, so I don't really feel bad about not clicking on rebuild infrastructure for this. It's only 1% more legitimacy for 50 political power, so do that. And then, ah, Sacramento's there, nice. And then the fate of the Boneyard. So, City of Angels, the Boneyard seems like a graveyard that stretches for miles under the hot sun. But Americans find a way, and the Boneyard has prospered as a part of the NCR. Hayes intends to set up a Department of Public Art and Entertainment in the city to serve as a nucleus for America's entertainment industry. <clears throat> but as part of that development, we need to decide whether to change the city's name. L.A. Civilian Workshops. And we get the City of Angels from the Boneyard. Well, the Boneyard to the City of Angels and two more Civilian Workshops. Or the Boneyard changes to the Boneyard. Um, well, we're trying to rebuild America. And we want to go back to the days of old. So we're just going to call it to L.A. City of Angels, welcome back. L.A. And that's under me. Shady Sands. Where's... L.A. doesn't the Brotherhood control L.A.? I don't know my... Oh, they, they, yeah, they do. I don't know my geography that well of California. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nice, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. All right, let's see. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I want this. I want this so badly. Hmm. Civilian power station, civilian power grid. The fruits of irrigation, Nice. Cool. Um, retool machinery. That's not really worth it. Boost the civilian economy. Even more stability. And we get more factories so we can build stuff with. And we can always build more military factories. Later. Let's go ahead and do it. Nice. Scavenge for stuff. Don't really need to scavenge for... Sp uh, well, I kind of do. Equipment. Using vertebrates. Yeah, well, since we're here, we might as well. No longer get the effects of counterfeiting. Nice. Awesome. Fund the EPA so we get more monthly population, recruitable population, division attrition goes down, we do consume more consumer goods, which actually I probably should have not have done that right now, but we do get more stability, so that's kind of nice. Cement and concrete, faster construction speed, I need more monthly population, that'd be good. I am trading these guys, so that's why their attrition is not super good. Another victim, victim for the Washington Brotherhood, against the same people that they're already killing. Alright then. Ah, and they return. Nice. So, we get our transports back. Common energy weaponry. And a slight bonus for basic basic ballistic weaponry. Basic energy weapons. 
powered weaponry and 50 units of common energy weaponry. Cool. Scavenge for... Oh, we actually have 60%. Whenever I tried this myself, <clears throat> trying to roll out tech only capped at 50%. Did I do something different? Maybe I did. I don't know. The advanced technology trade with the Western Brotherhood was terminated because of lack of civilian factories. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I just screwed myself up a little bit more there. Uh, whatever. The Gek Project, which I'm going to wait. Revive the Federal Reserve. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Chamber of Commerce. More infrastructure construction speed. Uh, is there anything that could help lower the amount of consumer goods everyone needs? I mean, this might do it here. Rebuilding the Pacific Northwest. Rebuild the four states commonwealth. Mm, incorporate the, the reluctance to serve. Department of Education. This hurts our consumer goods as well, which sucks. Lose legitimacy. Emergency labor draft. Oh, this stuff is all right, but I need... Uh, less encryption. That's not bad. Propaganda broadcasts. Entertainment broadcasts. Honor the First Amendment. Free press with the First Amendment? Oh, I don't want that. Mandatory patriotism sounds like more fun. Stripping the vaults. Better living above ground. Decisions to support America's greatest companies. That actually sounds like we might be able to reduce the amount of consumer goods that my people need. How do I get rid of this? Oh, oh wait, wait. God dang it, I need to complete the focus and revive the Federal Reserve. I need to read this stuff before I click on buttons. And to do this, I need to get Chamber of Commerce. I am doing all the wrong things here. But not really, because they're all right. They're just not in the right order. Oh, nice. Oh, actually, can we do... Yeah, let's get more research, research speed and reinforce rate. That'd be good. Yakama Nation, Yakama, please hold on. I, mean, I wish I could send volunteers, but I can't. Brotherhood, I hope you're taking hits. I hope you're hurting. And yeah, I know I got a lot of political power, but there's not really much I can do with it. Roll out more technology, sure. Just keep researching stuff, I guess. If I do this, get more common energy weaponry and common energy weaponry as well. That's alright. I'm gonna wait, actually, for maybe for, uh... Any general... Uh, well, actually, what I really need... Counterfeiters again, whatever. As less consumer goods for my people. I mean, for, um... My civilians need to stop using so many consumer goods, so I actually might choose Norman Wood for a while. Just because I need more consumer goods. So, let's do that for now. Yeah, we lost more, even more war support. But we don't have any consumer goods yet, so. Stripping the vaults. Salvage dive bomber, nice. Can't do that one yet. Salvaged fighter would be nice. Scrapyard bomber. Scrap dive bomber. Um. Salvaged. Do that. Oh, wait. Scrap. Is that already up? Oh, that's outdated because of the gunship. The ground attack is 25, yeah. What am I doing? Why am I even trying to make this? Salvage... Hold on. Stripping the vaults. So, the salvage dive bomber, if you don't know, has 26, 10, 25, 35, 24, 30, 1, 15, 10, 1, 15, 1 5, 10. Yeah, screw... What am I doing? What am I doing? Get rid of you. We don't need that. I would love more scrap fighters, but we already have the gunships, which I believe can do both. Yeah, I know we have fighters here. Oh, transports. Those are just transports. What are you guys? You guys are light bombardment. Air attack, air defense. You guys... Oh, I, I still need fighters, but I don't need those dive bombers. Cool. Um, we've got, We have to go to revive the Federal Reserve. Alright, so better living above ground. The vaults were not designed to save anyone. They're designed for the American eternity to help America leave this world and surviving on desolate planets. Many vaults are failing after some 200 years, uh, but there's some still plenty of there's still plenty of industrial gear we can refurbish and maintain. But some scientists have suggested we can always do more research, more research speed or resource efficiency gain. Honestly, right now, efficiency gain isn't terrible, but I could definitely use more, even though we are still hamstrung by where is it? Except the ghouls, reluctance to serve. 
Oh, I mean, it's down here, actually. Collapse economy, as well as collapse trade. 90, minus 90% 90 resource efficiency gain. I think our research speed is actually already pretty good. So I don't mind taking more resources for now, just because we're already pretty good. Let them charge themselves out. I don't really care about the protesters anymore. Let's see. We have a total of 8%, I think, for population we can use. Advanced circuitry, very nice, very, very nice. A radar, that's too far ahead. Uh, let's see. Production efficiency cap and growth. Our deficit's getting better of that stuff. Brick housing, nice. And get some more resources, why not? Just keep helping us out here. Scavenge for equipment. Still can't do anything over here, which is fine. Not like we can do anything about that. Awesome. I will go to war. Once I can and I'm able to replenish my stockpile of weaponry and assorted goods, I will go to war. I know it's just the economy is just so bad right now that I can't really effectively go to war without causing all sorts of major major problems. If I take these guys over... You know what? We got a lot of political power. We might be able to have a little bit of a fun time with them. Salvage motorcycle. Nice. I don't think I really need that. I don't know why I'm researching that. But we could use better planes. Oh, we're already doing that. Nice. Air Doctrine. Um... Here's a question. What are... Gunboats considered as? Or gunships, I mean. They're considered as... What? Are they considered bombers? They must be considered bombers, so they're, I think they're close air support? Oh, whatever, I'll do battlefield support, whatever, it doesn't ma really matter. I will end the episode soon, just as soon as this focus is done and we can read what's going on about it. So, revive the Federal Reserve, the new economic policy. Now that we have reestablished Federal Reserve, there's some debate about the fate of New California's currency. If we declare the NCR dollar to be worthless, we can bankrupt some of our greatest foes and distribute their assets to the Enclave's friends and comrades. Or we can allow the people to convert their NCR currency into American dollars, ensuring an orderly transition. So we can ban or mandate the US dollar or accept the NCR dollar. Well, we get legitimacy, political power, and some more other parties' popularity. Or we do this, we lose popularity of the oligarchy, increase the popularity of autocracy, get more political power, we get more consumer goods factories and factory output, which is what I extremely need right now. Yes, 5% more le legitimacy would be great, but 79% is already pretty flippin' awesome. So I'm going to mandate the US dollar just because I need those consumer goods. So, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold the, hold the phone there. I lose legitimacy. <clears throat> I did not read that. I don't see that right there. Hmm, free of bottle caps. Oh my goodness, why do you do this to me? I want as le much legitimacy, but if I don't, don't do... Oh! We have some of this. Um, yeah, do that instead. Uh, with a focus... This is so hard to make decisions here. God dang it, just give me more legitimacy then. We're going to accept the NCR dollar. Not something that I really want to do, but it's a transitional phase. And then we will become free of bottle cap soon. But... First, let me get out of this. Go to partial mobilization. Oh, I can actually build stuff, guys. We can actually build stuff, finally. Cool. Uh, next thing I will do is Chamber of Commerce so I can actually start trading stuff away. And that will end our episode here today. So, right now, we have slowly been changing our country for the better. Rebuilding, reconstructing, of course, as the name of our nation says. Uh, we have decided to maybe go ahead and justify on the Kemult station. You never know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I do want to annex them, take their factories, resources, whatever they might have, and have a good time with them. We'll see what happens with them. We're 84% legitimate, and yeah, we had a good time. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave your comments below, and I will see you tomorrow as we might end up in another war. Thanks for watching.